Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of The Conversation. And today I got some heat again for my friends and followers out there. And today the question is, will Kawhi Leonard prove that he is the best player in the world during these playoffs? So that's what I want to get straight into. But before we get into that, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button. We're trying to get as many likes as possible on these videos. So make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content so you don't miss it and you're not watching videos late and you're not commenting late and people are coming at you in the comment section saying, bro, you mad late, son. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. With that being said, let's get back into the content. So you guys know that the NBA season is going to happen. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. And finally, it's going to happen, I think, towards the end of July. I don't have all of the specific details on that um, at the moment, but we all know we're going to have an NBA season with 22 teams returning. I don't necessarily know. Um, I haven't spent too much time going through the mental gymnastics of how they're going to do that logistically in the 22 teams and all that stuff. I've heard it a few times, but I haven't sat down and really ingested all of it to really understand what it's about. But nevertheless, we're going to have an NBA season. We're going to have a conventional um, you know, eight team in each conference playoff format, one versus the eight and so on and so forth. So I think it's going to be really neat to see. Granted, they're going to be eight regular season games. I think those games are just going to be maybe for teams trying to get some seeding, the bottom, you know, six or five, six, seven, eight seeds, nine seeds, trying to understand where they're going to end up towards the end of the regular season. And I think it's going to also be a great way for the players to get their legs under them. We also know they're going to have a training camp. Now, if NBA games are supposed to kick off at the end of July. I'm not necessarily sure when we're going to have training camp, but I think training camp should be happening anytime soon within the next few weeks or so. Because um, we just fit, I mean, we're in June, we're in June right now. So I'm assuming training camp will start kicking off pretty soon. And they're probably going to give them two to three weeks in training camp just to get teams reacclimated, the players reacclimated back into the system and get them geared up to, to get ready for the, to complete the regular season and go into the playoffs. Now, we're all aware that the season is going to have about 10 less games this season. I think most of the teams have played 62 games. And the reason why that is, the NBA needs to hit the magic number of 70 to get to secure the TV deal. So that's the reason why they're playing eight games, because I think um, they've played 62 games thus far. So when they get to 70, that's when the TV deal kicks in and they're going to make their money. So that's going to be pretty good to see them be able to pull that off now. Back to the original question, is Kawhi Leonard going to prove that he's the best player in the world? Now, let me just say this, all right? All of you guys know that Kawhi Leonard is my favorite basketball player. Now, my favorite basketball player of all time is Kobe Bryant, and Kawhi Leonard seems to remind me of Kobe. He's not the same thing. I don't think he's as good as Kobe, but he reminds me of Kobe Bryant, so that's the reason why I kind of gravitated towards him. And also seeing the fact that Kobe sort of brought him under his wings and really started to mentor him. I think it's pretty cool. So Kobe, you know, um, gives him the stamp of approval. I give him the stamp of approval too. That's just the way it works. So that's the reason why I like Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi Leonard has only been playing for eight years in his career. He hasn't been playing for that many years, but he's been able to accomplish quite a bit in such a short period of time. And he's one of those people that you would sort of consider a late bloomer. Nevertheless, the dude is a two-time NBA champion. He's won two finals MVP awards in 2014 and just recently, 2019. He's a four-time All-Star. He's been an All-Star Game MVP winner. He's been on three All-NBA teams. He's been on what? Uh, he's been a two-time Defensive Player of the Year uh, award winner. He's been on five All-NBA teams and three All-First NBA teams. And he led the league in steals in 2015. So Kawhi Leonard is no slouch. Now, if we look at him, ever since 2014, 2015, his productivity just started going through the roof. In the season 2014, 2015, the dude was averaging about 16.5 points a game. Then the next season, he was averaging 21.2 points playing with the San Antonio Spurs. Then he took his scoring average up again by another four points to 25.5 points. Then the following season, it dropped to 16.2 because we all know that's the season he didn't play no more than nine games. And he had the whole, you know, circus debacle with the San Antonio Spurs. And he bounced back with the Toronto Raptors for all the people that thought it was a fluke and averaged 26.6 points a game. 
and then he averaged 7.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, and uh, damn near two steals a game. And this season, the dude is currently averaging 27 points a game, uh, getting you 7.3 rebounds, five assists, 1.8 steals, doing all of that, um, you know, with playing 32 minutes a game, shooting 47% from the field and 37% from the three-point line, 89% from the free throw line. So Kawhi Leonard is extremely, extremely uh, efficient. Now, his team, the, the Clippers, are one of the top teams in the NBA when it comes to scoring the number four, scoring 116 points a game. Incidentally, they're also one of the top rebounding teams in the league, being the top, uh, the number three team in, rebound, in rebounds, averaging 48 rebounds a game. So I think they're, you know, they're, you know, rebounds is, a def is definitely an important stat when you're looking at winning uh, the NBA title. Now, currently, if we're looking at the standings just in the Western Conference, because they're going to have to go through, obviously, the Western Conference to make it to the NBA Finals. So we're just going to focus on the Western Conference for now. Currently, they're the number two seed behind the Lakers, who had won eight out of their last 10 games. The Clippers had won seven out of their last 10 games, so they're doing pretty good, and they're leading the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz. But I think the top four seeds are pretty much going to remain the same unless something crazy happens um, when the season comes back and teams are really rusty and we just seen some really sloppy play. And they start giving up a lot of Ws and, you know, losing games. But I think that they're probably going to end up the two or three seed going into the playoffs. Now, the question is, is he going to prove that he's still the best player in the world uh, today? For me, I think yes. My, my, my answer is yes. But we also have to look at the pieces he has around him. Currently, he's playing with Patrick Beverly, you know, Paul George, who's also a perennial all-star. He has John Michael Green, who's also a great player coming off the bench. He's playing with the Beast and Montrez Harrell, who is also a great, great um, um, player and a great rebounder as well. You got Reggie Jackson, who the Clippers just recently picked up, who's a great addition. Then obviously they got Marcus Morris and Landry Shamit, who, are, who and Landry Shamit, who is a really a, a good three-point shooter, and obviously Lou Williams, who can always get it cooking in the fourth quarter. So the so he has a good complement of players around him. But the thing that makes me the most confident that Kawhi Leonard is going to prove that he's the best player in the world is in the playoffs is because I have to go back and look at his productivity in the playoffs. Whenever Kawhi Leonard is in the playoffs, his productivity always goes up. In 2016-2017 season, his productivity, he was averaging 27 points, basically 28 points a game. He was shooting 52% from the field. Oh my God. He was shooting 52% from the field. And you know, most of his shots are coming from the perimeter. He shot 45.5% from the three point line. I just want you guys to just mull, mull that over for a second. He shot 93% from the free throw line. He got you 7.8 rebounds, 4.6 assists and 1.7 steals that's what those were his numbers in the 2016 2017 season before Jaja Pachulia just took him completely out of the playoffs so just think about that for a second think about those numbers and those efficiency numbers I just gave to you guys then he came back and bounced back in the 2018 2019 season and to put that in perspective, the season I just said before, he was playing 36 minutes a game. He upped his minutes to 39 minutes a game. Then he averaged 30.5 points in the playoffs, shot 49% from the field, basically 50%, 38% from the three-point line, 88% from the free throw line, got you 9.1 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 1.7 steals, and led the entire playoffs in points, rebounds, and steals so i want you guys just to pay attention to these numbers i just gave to you with this dude this dude whenever he gets to the playoffs he takes his game to another level but the biggest question is going to be will he be able to beat lebron because a lot of people out there still believe that lebron james is the best player in the world and i think for Kawhi leonard to finally you know answer the bell and really prove it to the world that he is in fact the best player in the world I'm hoping he goes against the Lakers and wins because if he does that and he beats LeBron James's team, then there will be no more question. There, there, there won't be a question about it. You can't even say Kevin Durant because then you're just moving the goalposts. So 
I think he's going to prove that he's the best player in the world these playoffs. And I, I could be wrong, but I'm willing to pick a side. And the side I'm, I'm deciding to go with is that I think Kawhi Leonard is going to be the best player in the world uh, by the end of these playoffs. So what I want to know from you guys is do you agree with me? Do you think that Kawhi Leonard is going to prove that he's the best player in the world? Or do you think LeBron or someone else is going to you know, establish themselves as the best player in the world? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified when all our content comes out. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wish you guys an amazing day. Peace.